with percent, uh, representing uh, countries Norway, Finland, Sweden, Estonia, and Denmark, uh, which has been funded by the Nordic Council of Ministers. My name is uh, Irene Bryholt, and I am representing Norway. I work as a biologist in the NGO uh, called uh, La Humla Suse, uh, an organization working to uh, promote bumblebees and other wild pollinators. As you all probably know, uh, the state of pollinators in the world is worrisome. Our changed way of living in a modern society have affected our nature and biological diversity in many ways. And the state for pollinators in the representing countries are no exception. This is why in 2019, we decided to, uh, we decided to do an international collaboration. This co uh, collaboration's main focus uh, are on the agricultural sector and wild pollinators, but we aim to spray, uh, spread knowledge to a lot of sectors as well as authorities. We believe this will be both time and cost efficient for all sectors in all countries. In other words, it's a win-win situation. We all know that in order to stop the negative trends in pollinators, we need to change the way we are living. We need to do measures which will promote our pollinators in their habitats. But it can be difficult to know uh, exactly what measures will work, which measures are optimal, and which measures are making an indifference. This is the root of this collaboration. The trends uh, and the climate in Norway, Finland, Sweden, Estonia, and Denmark are all very similar. And we are all doing different solutions and measurements for our pollinators. We want to learn from each other. We want to learn what measures uh, the different countries are doing, what has been working, and what has not. Norway have a national pollinator strategy for uh, wild pollinators. Sweden have an action program for wild bees and flying insects on dry meadows. Denmark is planning a strategy on wild pollinators and already have a strategy for honeybees. Finland have started working on a national strategy and Estonia has a support on foraging areas for honeybees. Here we believe that this collaboration is really important because now we can share our experiences with uh, our national strategies, what has worked thus far for us, and perhaps also incorporate other countries' uh, experiences in order to improve our own. So in uh, 2019, Norway hosted the first seminar and a workshop uh, of this project. And this year, we were supposed to have a seminar and a workshop in Sweden. But of course, due to the pandemic situation, this was no longer possible. And it's really sad that we couldn't go to Sweden, but also it's very good that we are able to do this uh, as a digital webinar and being able to reach a lot of more people. I saw from the registrations that we have people from a lot of the, uh, different countries uh, in order, or uh, we have the representing countries, but also so we have people from the United Kingdom, the United States, Guatemala, Spain, Belgium, Netherlands, uh, Portugal, and a lot of other countries. Uh, so we're very happy that we're able to share this with so many people. And instead of the, um, the workshop, uh, we are currently making an informational video about this project where we want to show different uh, agricultural landscape in different countries. So we want to share this video with you when this is done uh, and of course with many others. So we hope that will be great as well. So today uh, we have a, lo a lot of different speakers. I just want to inform you that uh, there has been a slight change to the program uh, due to illness. So at 11.30 to 11.40, Matthias Hammerstedt will be talking instead of Hosse Eriksson, as stated in the original program. But the rest of the program is the same, and we hope to continue uh, uh, without any problems. Uh, so we will have a 30-minute lunch break at 11.40 to 12.10. We also hope to be able to answer questions uh, during this webinar, but this will only be possible if there is time after the presentation. So we haven't set any time for uh, questions alone. Um, but if you do have any questions, please write them in the chat. Uh, if the questions have short answers, perhaps the presenters uh, are able to just give a short answer in the chat but try to avoid conversations in the chat room in order to just keep it clean and, and organized so we can find questions uh, if there is time to ask them. 
And uh, of course, most importantly, uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, we are, as mentioned, we are trying to record this and we hope that it will be uh, able to, uh, to post the recordings on the platform later so you can watch it later and also um, share it with other people that you think should be watching this as well. So uh, I think we're just gonna start. Uh, I am the first one out, of course, and I'm gonna present the state trends and measures for pollinators in Norway. And I have been mainly focusing on bumblebees, just so you know, I'm mentioning 